Hello, my name is Henry Emfrey, and this is a Godot 3D game engine tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a film strip into the Godot engine. In another tutorial, I put together a film strip in a program called Fragmotion, and I rigged that film strip so that it could work in Godot. So in this tutorial, I'm going to import that film strip. So I'm just going to uh, create a whole new project. So I'm going to click New Project. I'm going to I find I'm going to find a folder where I want to put my assets. So the folder that I'm going to use is this uh, my Godot folder. It's on my desktop. You can uh, use whatever folder that you want, and you can name your folder whatever you want. I named my folder Godot, so that's why I chose. Uh, and then I'm going to click open. And then I'm going to rename my project. I'm just going to call it Henry's Henry's Animation. And again, you can name your project whatever you want to name it. This is this is just the name that I chose. I'm going to click on this project. And I'm going to let Godot um, set the project up. Okay, so now that we're inside of the engine, I'm going to go to these tabs on the left. And I'm going to click on import. And then I'm going to go to the word scene. Now, one thing to remember about Godot is they call all your objects a scene. Whether it's a mesh, whether it's, um, it's a character, whether it's a background, all of it. They plump it all together and call it scene. I guess that's just the way they do it. I guess they just want to be different. That's, so that's why I click on import and, and click on scene. And then when you click on scene you're going to get this box here and then you want to click on this uh, these, this these dot, dotted box this here and then you want to click on the a DA folder at least that's where I stored my animation I stored mine in this uh, in my Godot folder and inside my Godot folder I have this DAE folder so I'm going to click on my DAE folder and then this is the mesh that uh, this is the animation that I want to bring in into Godot I don't know if you remember this from the last tutorial, but this is this is what I named my animation. Okay, so I click on that, and then I click on open. Okay, so one thing about the Godot is going to do is uh, it's going to take my DAE file and rename it scene. Uh, I mean, it's like just like I told you in a moment ago that Godot uh, calls all your objects scene, and I'm just going to choose the path or folder where Godot uh, will put that uh, put that uh, object they it, that it renamed. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on this uh, box here and choose this folder where I want Kado to send the files that it converted and renamed. Okay, so then after that I'm gonna click click choose and then I'm gonna click uh, import and open. So sometimes it uh, this sometimes it takes a very long time for Godot to uh, to import animations. Notice the top tab where it says not responding, but don't worry about that. But just uh, just wait for it. Okay, so my character was imported successfully. So now we're gonna go up to it. Right now I'm just uh, focused on animation. I'm not gonna worry about the textures uh, right now. So um, now that our character was imported successfully, I'm going to go to this box on the far right uh, and click on Animation Player. And Animation Player should uh, bring you to this uh, this box right here. Now, first thing I'm going to do is play it to make sure that our, my animations were imported successfully. So here you go. There goes the walking. And there goes the punch. Okay, so now that that uh, worked, um, like so, this box right here stores all of our animations. Our animation is an entire film strip with both the walking animation and the punching animation. It's all on one strip. So what Godot does, it names it all, all that default. So what, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna copy this uh, this default. We're gonna copy. We're gonna put, uh, copy it one time. For our walking, I'm gonna press this button again. Uh, for our punch, 
So, um, now we're just going to rename these. I'm gonna, so I'm going to, I clicked on this box, and I'm going to press this uh, button that looks like an eye, and I'm going to rename this one Walking. And next, I'm going to click on this box again and go down to copy, copy. And then I'm going to rename this uh, this box to Punch. Okay, so now we have our tab set. Now, we're going to go back to walking. Now I'm going to set this back to zero. It, now I'm gonna and I'm gonna play this thing again. Now after seeing that strip, one could see that anything before one has to do with walking, and anything after one has to do with the punch. So now with this walking tab selected here, we want to, our frame strip to only contain the frames having to do with walking. One thing that we want to do is set our counter link to uh, to one, so that when we play this animation, our um, our red strip doesn't go past this one. Let me show you. This is zero. First, make sure our loop button is pressed. And there you see it. It doesn't go past one, even when it loops. One way to ensure that we will have walking animations while this uh, walking animation tab is selected, you can also can just cut all this stuff too. And you know, just stop the box at one and just, uh, you know, go down and go way to the bottom, keep the box on one. And now that all everything is selected, you can just press the delete button, and then go back up. You, you can use the mouse wheel to go back up, or you can you can use this uh, this button right, this scroll button here. And now that you, now that you see that, now you see that we deleted all the other uh, keyframes. So now let's see what happens. See what it looks like. Okay, so now that was successful. That that worked out. Okay, so now we just do the same thing to the punching animation. Okay, so we go to the uh, punch uh, this tab. Now we're in the punching's uh, animation editor. You know, it, just like you know, walking has its own uh, set of functions, and then uh, punching has its own set of functions. Uh, it, both things are individualized. Kind of like we, that what we saw in that frag motion tutorial. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, work with uh, just punching. Now, now the way I do this is I go ahead and, and cut anything having to do with walking. So I'm just gonna select all this right here. Uh, so I'm gonna just select all these keyframes right here, and I'm gonna delete them. Just hit the delete button. And then I'm going to select them again going back up. You know, make sure make sure everything is like after the one. Takes a while, but I think you gotta get the point. Okay, so now that all our keyframes are selected, we can just uh left click on this and move them all up to the zero here. And after you move them up to zero, we're gonna we see that our key our punch keyframes ends at two, so we're gonna put the two right here. We're gonna type in two down here where it says length. And then the next thing we're gonna do is make sure that our loop button is pressed. And then we're going to play it. Let's see what happens when we play it. So that was successful. You can see that um, our punch animation loops back fluidly, and that's what we want.
Okay, so this is the end of this tutorial. We've imported our animation and we've cut them. And, and just remember, um, whatever the amount of animations that you have on your single free, uh, film strip, this is just this is the way you cut it. You know, you can have a whole list here. You can have a, a punch. You can have walking. You can have jumping. Just do it all in the same way. Thanks.